Joe Tolbert and Suzanne Bambara on BBC Surrey. Good to see you in a pair of them, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, 20 to 8 now. And this is interesting. There's something I never thought I'd ever say, but the rock guitarist Brian May is backing campaigners trying to stop 140 houses being built in Windlesham. Yes, the Brian May from the group Queen. He says the houses aren't wanted and what's more, they're not even needed. Now, in the first of our two-part interview, he spoke with Peter Stewart. We're looking at the destruction of 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 wildlife habitat and it's no use saying oh we can plant some more trees somewhere else and it makes it okay it doesn't once you've destroyed that habitat and once the animals are dead they're dead you have done something to accelerate the process of local extinction or you know severe compromise of of species in this country and it's going at an alarming rate. So we're, we're very much against this development on those grounds. What's, what, what are the specific issues with, with, with this development? Are there some particular woodland or particular animals that you're concerned about? Yes, there's a number of badger sets. And it's, although the government is sadly pursuing a policy of culling badgers in certain zones, badgers are still a protected species, and so they should be. You know, they were here in this country before we were and they need to be left alone. You cannot relocate badger sets, and there's a number of them in this area. So you're looking at badgers, you're looking at foxes, and a number of smaller creatures, um, of course, that are part of the, the ecosystem that's there. You're also looking at people. I mean, we're looking at our grandchildren not having wildlife around them, which I think is a tragedy. But those people, those same people, have got to have somewhere to live, don't they? Well, and their children have got about? to have somewhere to live. Who are these people you're talking about? <laughs> Who are these people who need these houses? It's purely the developers who are pushing this, and the developers want to make money. That's what we're looking at. But then we are in a capitalist society, aren't we, where people, where house builders do build houses and make money from that. There's, yes. there's nothing, you know, intrinsically wrong with that. But... I think there's a lot intrinsically wrong with it. <laughs> I think there's a lot wrong with capitalism, and we all know it. But unfortunately, uh, that's the way we're going. I mean, I'm not in favour of of people making money at the expense of other people's well-being. And I, I think, you know, capitalism, of course capitalism has its good sides. It has incentives incentive to make people work. But if it's allowed to run, well, I'm using this word rampant, aren't I? I think we're looking at rampant capitalism where really you can ride roughshod over anyone you like as long as you have the money to do it. Well, a spokesman for Permission Homes Thames Valley, Permission being a parent company to Charles Church, said it had formally consulted residents and used their feedback to inform its application. Their spokesman added, it's very important to us that we build much needed and desirable new homes and meet the needs of the local market within the parameters of this land being a reserve housing site in the local plan. You can hear more on that, in fact, on the interview with uh, Catherine in Drive from 5 tonight here on BBC Surrey. Now let's move on to another local story making headlines today and rock guitarist Brian May is backing campaigners who are trying to stop 140 houses being built in Windlesham. Brian, who's from the group Queen, says the houses aren't wanted and they're not needed. In the second of our two-part interview, he spoke with Peter Stewart. There isn't a need for more housing in in Windlesham. There isn't the infrastructure to go with it. There aren't enough buses and we don't want any more buses. You know, this is a country area. There's no need to be cramming it with more housing. You must get asked a lot of times to, to lend your name to various events and charities. How do you choose? Why did you choose this one? Well, it's interesting for us because it is local, of course. These are the same people who we want to be concerned about wildlife in general. So we're always looking to, to generate support for protection of the environment. So um, it's a, I, guess, I guess it's a kind of reciprocal caring. You know, we, we care about their particular problem because we expect them to care about the bigger problem, which is the way we treat the animals with which we share this planet. And, and do you feel that lending your name to groups such as this, to causes such as this, does that make a difference? Do people sit up and notice and listen to you where they wouldn't have listened to uh, Joe Smith, who ha just happens to be involved with the charity? Yes, it makes people like you phone me up. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it does make a difference. I mean, I, I have I spent my life making music and not really looking for publicity, to be honest. 
but the fact that it's there means that people will listen to me one time at least. It, it, the fact that it's there means that I can open some doors and, and get people to to listen to what we have to say. And I believe what we have to say is important. I do believe we're we're destroying our environment very fast at the moment in this country. Do you think that your involvement with this particular cause in Windlesham, is that going to have a, a breakthrough effect, do you think? Or is are, are your comments falling on deaf ears? I mean, what's the council or the developers been saying back to you? At present, um, the signs are good. I think we're getting a good reception from the people who will make these decisions at council level. I think we'll win this. Um, of course, the, the developers will come back and try and do it another way. You know, the, these people never give up because that's what they're in it for. They're in it to make money. You, you became famous by playing loud rock music, but 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 you're softly spoken with with uh, a huge amount of passion. How, <laughs> how how far can you take this? Do 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 you think? Are, are you a well, this particular issue? Yeah, I mean, are, are you a ch- chain myself to a gate kind of person? Well, we've discussed chaining me to various things. Yes, of course. <laughs> Um, he laughs. Finally, Brian, what, let, let's go back to the Heath Park Wood plans and proposals. What would you say to the, 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 the planning officers, the councillors looking at the plans, and also those companies who have got builders standing by with uh, uh, truckloads of bricks ready to move in? What, what, what would you be saying to them? <laughs> I think we all need to take a step back and have a look and say, you know, what, what is the kind of world that we would really like to live in? Do we really want to keep covering it with concrete? That's Queen's Brian May talking to Peter Stewart. Well, a spokesman for Persimmon Homes Thames Valley, uh, Persimmon being parent company to Charles Church, said it had formally consulted residents and used their feedback to inform its application. The spokesman added, it's very important to us we build much needed and desirable new homes that meet the needs of the local market within the parameters of this land being a reserve housing site in the local plan. BBC Surrey.